let's uh, talk about stress management so let's uh, divide it into like a short term and long term like short term is like for example someone is having a panic attack or anxiety attack like they are not able to breathe at that moment how do you how do we deal with that how do we take care of the the person who is actually going through panic attack uh there are certain pressure points very simple pressure points which can help them to you know um, at such uh, acute cases come out quickly like say uh, uh, you know on your wrist you can find a space here just below your wrist uh, there there is a single uh, pressure point which can help you to uh, quickly come down calm down and uh, relax uh, faster and also at the tip of the outer tip of your uh, nail thumb nail there is a that corner of the nail if you just press your breathing becomes better uh, for people who are panting with that uh, panic attack you know you immediately touching that point can help them to breathe better so this uh, if every one of us know then you can help the person who is suffering like that and the first thing what you have to do is just calm them uh, by giving them a positive approach and just rub them uh, on their back upper back and the neck area because that's the place which usually gets stiffened and uh, relaxing that helps so if i have understood it correctly kitana so you say that the wrist this area yes just it? below just below your palm yeah below the just keep on pressing yes just press there there is a round uh, a p p like uh, bone there a round bone okay yes. yeah this is a bone aha uh-huh. a little inside uh, not uh, outside just okay. a little inside if you press it's called h7 acupuncture point heart 7 is the point basically just rubbing it massaging it or even if you don't know just massage this area The, yeah the whole area just massaging that area will help you to relax you just and need to relax that area yeah. and then the corner outer corner outer corner of the thumb nail just that angle corner nail or just massage this area uh, in yoga we are taught that you should be able to breathe nice and freely yes. and uh, i i feel like that's what uh, helps you i think during a panic attack or even when you're stressed or even angry just having a few nice deep breaths and yes. uh, focusing on your breath just gets your mind out of that uh, area of panic or anger or something else negative that's happening and just brings you into the present moment and helps you breathe better and uh, i also want to add like uh, we've been taught in yoga that uh, your uh, upper back or rather your upper body the chest area is an emotional center so like kirtana was saying that you know patting the upper back or just uh, you know calming down the person by rubbing their back i think it's like stimulating the emotional center of the body i, I think I have actually a question for Kirtana uh, that reminded me. I mean, everyone says, and even in yoga, we are told that okay, if anyone's having a panic attack or anyone is really, really stressed, the first thing that you can uh, like tell them to do is breathe deeply. But I've seen many people like okay, uh, if you're having a panic panic attack, they like breathe into a bag or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if that helps or not. What is your opinion on that? uh no what i think is uh, see you have to fill in the bag so you are uh, consciously doing it so if you tell a person who is stressed to breathe breathe better they may be breathing little less just to push that uh, and emphasize a little more maybe they ask you to breathe in so you know you puff the ba- puff the bag by breathing right. so you are more conscious on the uh, you know movement of the bag rather than your breath but you simultaneously breathe better also maybe as you said that can be uh, i will uh, tell you another example why do people smoke most of them say it's because of stress i do so what do they do actually when they smoke so you know uh, just imagine you they just blow in and then blow out and blow out that is what they do right so what actually happens is you do a simple pranayam there 
leaving apart the nicotine effect you know that is uh, the separate thing the simple thing what they do is breathe in deeply and breathe out you know uh, fully so this helps your lung to you know quickly take in a lot of uh, air in and out and that energizes your system very quickly because mind and your uh, breathing has a very powerful connection if your uh, another example is uh, if you have seen a dog panting and uh, you could have seen rabbits breathing very fast you know uh, uh, those animals uh, um, life span is really very short and if you have seen a tortoise uh, breathing and uh, an elephant breathing uh, it's all very long and deep and obviously you have seen they live for hundreds of years so the energy level is much better and different when you breathe better so if you can breathe better your energy level is good and if your energy level is good automatically uh, your stress level becomes much much uh, better <laughs>